Hi, Cancer. It's Mary Jo from Enchantress Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your reading for March 2020. Okay, we have Mercury going direct, the six. So we still have a shadow for two weeks. So hopefully things will start to move forward and you were able to get things accomplished with communications and writings, contracts, messages during the retrograde. But let's see what we have for you from March. And thanks again for subscribing. If you haven't, please do so. It helps my channel to grow. And any comments you have, just put in the bottom. If I feel anything, I'm happy to answer that for you. Okay, with the Eight of Cups, so we're looking at dissatisfaction with things. You've outgrown things emotionally. You're looking to move on. You want to challenge yourself. Um, you're rising to, to new heights and looking to go to greater things in your life. So if you were in a relationship with someone, you may have outgrown them and you're starting to feel like you don't have the same loving connection that you had for them before. You want something more. You know, there are many times in a relationship that happens. One grows and the other stays the same. And unless you grow together in similar vibrations, it's typical to happen. It's not that you failed or they failed you. It's, it's your growth. And you're looking to find someone who fulfills you. You see that full moon energy there. So we know something is coming to an end. And you know when that happens, something new begins. But looking at it itself... This could even be for some of you, like your job that you've been doing, you're dissatisfied with you. You've gone as far as you can go. Let's say you've maxed out even as far as your salary and you know there's no upward mobility. You're looking for another job. Some of you are even changing your major because you realize as you're into it now, oh God, I really don't want to do this the rest of my life or I'm just not interested in this anymore like I thought I was. Again, this is what happens in life. We change our minds, we grow. Our vibrations start to resonate differently to different frequencies. So for some of you, it is definitely that you will be um, changing your major, your vocation or trade, leaving your job. And even others, that like your home, you've outgrown your home. It's not doing it for you anymore. You need to find a new place to live. Even if you're, you've retired and you're looking to downsize. But to whatever this is for all of you, put it into your own chapter right now of what's going on in your life, dear Cancer, is that what once filled all of these cups for you, and that you were very satisfied. You felt, you know, everything you, you needed emotionally was met, especially with Cancer. It's about your emotions, right? You're very responsive to um, other people's energy. You're receptive and you're very reflective. So there may have been a time in the recent past three weeks, three months, you've been reflecting on things in your relationships or in your current life status and situation. And you're saying, I need to change things and I need to go to the next level. This is not fulfilling me the way it was before. I'm grateful for it, but I'm ready to move on from it. And like I said, this is ending a chapter with this person or situation or thing in your life so that you can you can go to the next level. And you know, that's what you're constantly about, raising your vibration. You wanna ascend before you leave this place to the next level, the highest level you can before you go. Yeah, definitely, look, for many of you, you're starting a new job, a vocation, a trade. You're dedicated to it, you're working hard at it. Now the money might not be there right away in the beginning. It might not be even as much as what you were making in the past, but it's there around you in the ethers and the potential is there for you to receive this. Um, you're feeling very fulfilled with this. Where here you felt like your cups were empty, like you, you drank every cup. You know, you drank all that you could from it. Now you want something more. And this is more grounding and stable for you. So if the relationship you had, at once, like I said, it was emotionally satisfying to you and now it's no longer satisfying to you and you're looking for a new love, this one has potential and you're working at it. You're enjoying it, you're going out at night, you know, maybe even have late night romantic dinners that last into the morning that you just chit chatting and talking, getting to know each other. But it's something that you feel has all the things, the bells and whistles you're looking for with this relationship with this guy or this girl. For some of you, this new job, I think you're gonna be doing something very different. It's not like you were doing before, or at least if you were doing the same thing before you had lost your interest in it. 
Now this is like a new chapter where there's a new excitement for you and you're feeling like um, you're, you're just throwing yourself into your work and you're like, you're burning the midnight oil there. You know, you're working even late hours, but it doesn't feel like you're toiling away because you're really focused on this cancer and driven and you're putting all of this, uh, your own like heartfelt love and, and skill set into this. You know, it could be something you're doing by hand, like electrician, a plumber, a carver, a musician, but it could be um, something that you're giving yourself of others to service, you know, whether it's in the sales industry, marketing, the medical field, beauty, um, even something to do with entertainment and hospitality. See, when you're just putting yourself into this, I do really feel like this is very grounding for you. Like you're starting to feel like you're starting to get your mojo back. You're feeling very good here with that red cloak. You're grounded. And um, let me see what else. There's water here behind you, all alongside of you, but it's calm water. You know, everything is, like I said, responsible and dedicated and and reliable in what you're doing and the people around you are responsible reliable they're like you're reestablishing a network that may have been broken before you know you see with the spider web there above you so it's like you're reconnecting in a new network new social situation everything's calm and all of this reflection you did and um being open and receptive is paying off for you so that you get this opportunity and you know with the eight we're looking at something very grounded and stable so you have these two eights here so we're looking to solidify things because eights are like that's saturn right so like this is saturn in pisces and this is the sun in virgo so you have two very responsible energies there with with saturn and virgo Virgo analyzes things and looks for a long term. Saturn is responsible and reliable and dedicated and builds a new solid foundation, you know, and there's structure there. Okay, now with the star, this is beautiful because this is a time of healing for you. So whatever you were coming off of, if it was a bad relationship or people in your job that treated you wrongly, you didn't have... Um, the support that you needed and that's what you were tired of and you just wanted to be with different people um and you're working at this it looks like this is the healing this is whatever was going to be impossible for you is coming into fruition for you and like the universe conspired to give you what you wanted you truly wished at this and wanted this you you may have not even realized when you were daydreaming in, in your off hours, or maybe you were daydreaming while you were working, or just your thoughts, you know, that subconscious that's always going, and your mind is racing and doing things in life, but the spirit part of you, your soul knows what it wants, and it wants what it wants. It longs for it, for its growth. And with this card, you're seeing how it's replenishing your soul, your spirit, and this earthly vessel that you're in. So keep wishing on your star cancer. Whatever this is, there will be healing. It's coming for you. It may not be quick and easy. And you might say, well, I've been waiting for this for years or it's been taking so long. It takes the time it takes because one, the universe has to rearrange people, places, and things to give you what you want. Two, you need to keep your vibration in that same energy all the time and you know what life it doesn't always happen you don't sit there all day just wishing and, and praying or desiring something while you're living your life you're living your life and you're not even focused on the thing that you want and desire because you're too busy life is getting in the way of you living and sometimes even manifesting so with this it's like saying we're going to intervene here we know what you want and we're going to help you get what you want so keep wishing on your star if it's really that important to you you won't give up and now with the star energy, we have Aquarius, okay? So we are going into the, so that's higher technology, that's freedom, that's lightning, quick thought. That's like the genius, the God factor. When things coming in from the unseen to us, spiritual energy answers. When we're really tuned in, like you're getting the download, everything is coming to you. Let me just see what else. You know, I see all this blue here. I really feel like there's a, you're learning a lot here, Cancer. Calm waters again, you know, soft, reflective, in the moonlight, receptive. You know, she's focused here. Her chakra has been activated there in her third eye. So again, with that Aquarian lightning-like uh, information coming in for you. 
So have hope, keep wishing on your star. And even if you're busy throughout the day and realize I didn't focus on what I wanted and manifest or pray or meditate, when you're in the shower or in the bath or driving to work or commuting or even lying in bed at night, say your affirmations, send out your wishes to the universe, place your order in the catalog and just wait for it to come and try and focus on keeping your energy in a higher vibration. You know, especially cancer, you, your, your range of emotions is so broad and from intensity <clears throat> to like super calm. So you wanna try and find that in between place. And if you could go from the place of calm, that's always best. But even if you have excited energy without being nervous, fearful energy, putting your intentions on it, because um, being the first of the mystic houses, you do tap into the emotions and you're very empathic, you know? So be careful what you're surrounding yourself with in the energies. And if you feel it's negative, go and take a shower and imagine as you're showering that all this negativity is leaving your body, dripping down with every drop of water that hits you. And with it taking all the negative energy going down the drain. And if or you take a salt bath, that's great for 20 minutes. And uh, let it take all the impurities and toxins from your body and say, it is leaving my body. All negativity is leaving me. I am in a positive energy. I'm raising my vibration, putting your frequency for this that you desire. And this could be some new love for you, healing of a loving relationship that you had that you're working hard at for some of you. That it's not that it's over. It might just be a break or it might just be a, um, a short separation until you guys re, um, group with yourselves. You might've had things going on in your life that were interfering with the way that you respond to each other because you had your own thing going on or they had their own thing going on and you guys weren't working it out together because it was something you had to work out yourself independently. And it could be for some of you, the healing of the relationship and you come back not codependent, but you're independent people that are interdependent in this relationship in a healthy, loving way that lasts. Okay, with the Knight of Pentacles, so we know the Knights are action, they're fire, but this is the Pentacle, so that's a little bit slower, more grounded energy. Um, so you know, it's it's like it's saying it takes its time to get you what you want here. Um, this Knight loves to learn. They're always looking to learn more and more and more. So for some of you students to be continuing to postgraduate or going for PhD or a higher form of learning, that, like I say, you had an associate, you're going for your bachelor's now, or you've been working as an apprentice and now you're going for your card um, or certification. All right, this is definitely for me learning. Anything of vocation or trade, anything that makes you money, okay? any knowledge coming to you. For some of you, this is very much what you're full of this green around you, saying this is a very fertile time for you to continue your education or start that new thing that you've been wanting to embark upon. You're strong enough and solid to do this. You know, this is Taurus, you see the bull's horns? So we know that they take their time, they are grounded and dedicated, and they're in for the long haul. You know, he's standing on, on, on the grassy area there with his horse and he's just dug in. He's an immovable force. He's armed to the hilt. He's solid. For some of you, this is the energy coming into your life. 18 to 35 or 40. Very responsible, reliable individual, male or female. They may seem a little dull or boring to you or your friends because, you know, they're not what you had before. But this person's there for the long haul. And they may not have a lot of experience in a love relationship. Like maybe they had one boyfriend or girlfriend or two, you know, and they maybe lasted a long time. So they, it's not that they're inept. They don't have the same experiences maybe that you have had in your life with relationships. And now it's coming to, like I said, wishing on this perfect person for you. If you could see past the whole bad boy image that maybe you were drawn to or people that don't commit to you and use you and see your value cancer, this could be a nice solid relationship for you. Let me see what else. <clears throat> for others of you that you started this new job, um, I think you're really going to get a foothold right away and people are going to see you for your dedication and responsibility. Especially Cancerians, you're very loving. You're always giving to other people. You want to make everybody happy. Uh, you do so much to give of yourself, to help other people feel appreciated, accepted, okay? So I really feel that um, whatever this, if it was a job for you, you're going to be like put to the next level like a lot quicker than you maybe were thinking. This could be something like 
in the time of Taurus, maybe after you know May or June, you'll see this opportunity. Now, yes, this night is Taurus, but it's an Earth energy. So for some of you, it might not be the Tauran energy. It might be a Virgo, or it could be a Capricorn also. Just this Earth energy that's very grounding and stable for you. And even for you, you're seeing yourself as an immovable force. You're seeing yourself like you're sitting on the Clydesdale of horses, armed to the hilt, ready to defend and fight off. You know, your visor is down. So like no one can harm you. You're very well protected here. You know, there's, like I said, time of fertility in your life, even with the bunny rabbit, you know, and someone in spirits watching over you, you know, in the unseen, like you may not notice it, but all this greenery is definitely fertility in your life. So things are starting to grow for you, Cancer. Be very careful. Be responsible if there's money involved. I know you may have wanted some nice things that you've been wishing for. Be responsible. Make sure you put some money away for a rainy day. Things will be moving along like with the bunny hopping along. Just make sure you keep it at that pace and not that you're ready to run this race and tire yourself out. Let me see if, if there's anything else. Keep looking at the gold on this green. Very rich, very powerful. Yeah, it's, it's that chemical process. You're really, you're starting to shine, Cancer, where you were a diamond in the rough, right? That chunk of coal that alchemized on the great pressure into this beautiful gem, this diamond. We're all gems. We're multifaceted gems. And with you, Cancer, it really feels like you're going from a raw state like of lead to gold. I really feel there's transformation, this alchemical process going on for you in a very positive way. And you deserve it. You've worked very hard. You've been through a lot here. You know, this is air with Aquarius, earth, and this is water. Uh, so you've got three of the elements working right now coming at you. That's a lot. So keep yourself, like I said, grounded. Um, have a good time with your life. Like I said, if you have these blessings coming in, but remember to be responsible and, um, be grateful too when your wishes are coming true. Because this is a very grounded, stable energy. And it's slow moving, so it sustains. It's not like the night of air that comes in and is gone. One, two, three. This is like I say, like a slow burn. So enjoy it for now because it doesn't last forever. But you've worked very hard at this over the last number of years. And some of you um, even longer. You know, this is maybe eight to 10 years that you've been working hard at something and it's come to you now. So enjoy it. So I hope this helps you and have a great month. I'll see you guys next month. And as always, I wish you the best.